Okay, so very quick video today. This is introducing Hypermax Beam for emulation station based front end systems. This is by Scotty Retro, who's very famous for creating some very awesome themes. For instance, inside a retro bat, we got Touch of Glass, all created by Scotty Retro, a very good contributor to the retro gaming community. So, what I'm going to do is leave the link in my description for this theme, and this is going to be able to be downloaded through Mega, and it weighs in it just over three gigabyte so once you've downloaded it you're going to get a zip folder all you need to do is just pretty much it straps the folder inside of here and if you're using retrobat for this theme to install it into retrobat manually as you can download it using the retrobat theme downloader we're just going to right click on the retrobat shortcut open file location emulation station folder dot emulation station folder and then your themes folder and this is where it goes as we can see i've already extracted it in here and we got es theme hypermax plus version 8. if we just go inside of here we've got all the systems plus random different games such as alien syndrome and there's some really nice stuff in there which scotty retro has done so anyways if you're going to be using this for retrobat let's actually install this so we're going to open up retrobat okay so once we're inside a retrobat let's actually install this theme so i'm pressing start button on my controller which opens up main menu if we go down to user interface settings and then we go into theme set this is where hypermax is going to be if you put it into that dot emulation station theme smaller if we just select hypermax plus press a and if we then refresh retro bat just by coming out and here we go So obviously I've got no games in this, this is a version of Retrobat that I use for setup guys, but obviously once you start adding your games into Retrobat using this new theme, Hypermax, then obviously this is going to look incredible. And we got the main ability here to go to main menu, user interface settings, and if we go to theme configuration, we can then play about with how this theme looks. So if we go down to theme menu, this is on menu 01. If we say, for example, go to menu 05 and then refresh. So the layout is going to start looking very differently. If we again go to user interface settings, theme configuration, Let's just put the theme menu back to number one and we can use theme logo just here. So we got logo neon. Let's try that out. So as you can see, the wheel is turned into neon colors, which is pretty cool. Again, theme configuration. Uh, we can go to theme color. Let's go to fire. Uh, let's go for some random stuff. We got theme icon set just here. If we go to say icon arcade. So lots of different settings just there to play around with. User interface settings again. And we can even change how the game looks. So for example, if we got a pack of Nintendo NES games and they display in one way, if we actually go to game list view style, we can change how it looks. For example, we've got the option here to change it to game list coin ops. If we go to coin ops. And there we go, we now got a coin ops looking theme for each one of the systems that we're going to add into Retrobat. Very cool stuff. But anyways, that's it for today's Hypermax theme by Scotty Retro. As you can see, this is a really awesome theme, especially if you like the coin ops look. Anyways, if you liked today's video, check out my other Retrobat emulation setup guides in my playlist. Also, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro. Thank <laughs> you.